So I was reading Debbie's comments on her video on she has if you didn't know already my mom is Debbie she has a new channel on YouTube that's my car um, called Daily Debbie and um, she was talking about losing weight and then her goals and someone commented and said they drink green tea and I haven't been drinking my green tea that much so I decided I would drink a whole one of these today that would be my goal so over there I have my boyfriend's duffel bag because he's a duffel bag boy and then my purse and then a bag from Nordstrom's with some makeup things in it and then this I was gonna wear one of those new seven tops I showed in yesterday's video because I got the taupe one that looks like a vest and then the black one I showed at the end which is so beautiful um, but I'm going to get my tattoo today and I'm getting it on my leg and those tops I think require not some like short shorts even though ugh, the car is so annoying the car but whatever but I could have worn the shorts with the taupey one but whatever I wore just something else but this is what I'm getting tattooed the font is called Balmoral I believe it's B-A-L M-O-R-A-L and I had to download it or downloaded it <laughs> I had to buy it on fonts.com because I didn't know any other way to be able to print it out so it was like $30 so I have this lovely font forever now but I like it I like it a lot it's not gonna be nearly that big but I just wanted to print it out this big so when he scans it into the computer um, it's bigger than it than trying to stretch it out makes much more sense my car is annoying I can't tell what's wrong with you asshole car because you decided to stop working your freaking computer. I stopped at Whole Foods and got my favorite beet salad, or beet with orange and ginger. I call it a salad. Is it just because it's chopped? I don't know. I love Jimmy John's. They deliver freaky fast at Jimmy John's. Really good. This is where I'm getting my tattoo done. Best tattoo place in Sarasota oddity. I strongly recommend it. It's really nice and really clean. What do you think? About what? Your tattoo? Yeah. I think it's pretty. When are we going to get matching mother-daughter tattoos? Uh, and what, what would I get? We're going to get little owls. Oh, little owls. I like owls. Yeah. Well, how long do you have to wear that um, saran wrap on it? Like a, a couple hours. Oh, really? And then you wash it. And then you just keep washing it and keep it lotioned up. And what does the saran wrap do? Um, just keeps the any dirt and stuff off of it. Oh, in case we want it to have yeah. a little dirt on it. And you're what? You're waiting for the ink to dry? Is that the idea? I don't know exactly. You've got your tag hanging mm -hmm. out, so people know that you sell these right off your neck all yeah, day. I Comes into work, puts one on, sells it. Comes into work, puts one on, sells it. Angie the mannequin, but it's sort of the idea. Yeah. So, we're going to talk today. Your topic is going to be honesty, since people have a problem with being honest. Oh, really? <sighs> Who's, who, who are you referring to? Oh, I'm talking about, like, whenever you try on clothes, how would you like me to be? Oh. A kiss ass? No, no, no. I'd, I'd rather you be honest. <laughs> I, you know, I think within your own family, it's it's pretty easy to be honest. People sometimes um, choose not to be totally honest if it can benefit them in some way. I guess it just depends on what you're being honest about or not being honest about. I guess you should be pretty honest, but maybe not terribly honest if you're, you know, you don't want to really offend anybody. But I, I think it's when it's your mother or your daughter or your husband or your son or a really, really close friend, uh, I think you can be pretty honest. You should be. You should be, but you don't want to offend anybody. Did I offend you? No. No. I always, I don't always find it fascinating when they're like, you're like, you're mean to your mother, you need to be nicer. And I, who do you think raised me? answer another question? Go ahead. Uh, what do you mean go ahead? Ask me a question. Ask you a question? What would you rather have? 
uh, good hair. <laughs> yeah, try again. <laughs> Would you rather uh, go out of the house? Um, I don't, I, I'm not really good at those. Would you rather, if you could only have two makeup items, what would they be? Okay, and then the people can answer those in the comment section. Yeah, that'd be interesting. And my two makeup items would be foundation and mascara. Mm -hmm. Probably good for you, yeah. Mm -hmm. How long could you go without washing your hair? Only a day. Mm -hmm. You? Okay, a day. What are your two makeup items? I would have to have foundation and probably lipstick. Okay. Any other questions you have? Oh, somebody asked me... Um, this I'm asking you makeup questions. Oh, if okay. these aren't makeup, makeup related, then you put them on a okay. piece of paper and we'll answer them tomorrow. Okay, okay. There's some other questions to ask. Okay, makeup related? Yeah. Um, or beauty? Beauty related? Uh, hmm, what do you think the best... <laughs> That's why I'm the questioner and you're the... Yeah, I'm not good at questions. I, I can question people, but I feel a little bit odd questioning, like, whatever. I... So I'll just show you my outfit of the day. Um, I'm excited. This week's good. I got my tattoo today, which I'll show you momentarily. Um, but I'm having my hair colored on Friday to blonde. Uh, but I've got on my little crown necklace. I love this little crown necklace. I have to put the white gold version on the website now. Someone asked me the difference between white gold and silver. White gold is, they're just different metals. Um, silver will tarnish, whereas gold may tarnish, but over time, silver will tarnish no matter what. Um, so gold is better in a sense because you don't really have to clean it as often as you would silver. Like if you notice with your silver jewelry, it starts to get like a, a black tint. On. For instance, this is silver. This is from Tiffany and Company. It's a compact. I haven't touched it in years and I have it set aside to clean it. But this is what happens to silver if you don't mess with it. This is silver too, but this is dirty. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, still good. Okay, still good. Um, oh, why would I just throw it back in the sink? Okay, but silver tarnished. Um, then, so anyway, um, I've got, oh, large, um, I put everything in the sink too, I know, I'm weird. Um, small, large Sydney Evan pendants. All this jewelry is for sale on my website. My love ring. Um, my polishes are by Orly. Um, they're in the mini bottles, so I'm not sure the names of them, but like a light nude color. If you wanted a color similar in Essie, um, the color similar in Essie would be just some kind of nude one. I don't know. Just nude. I don't know. A gold glitter on my fingernail. Um, this shirt is by Splendid, which I really love because it's already layered for you. This one doesn't come unattached, though. My shorts are by Seven for All Mankind, um, with the little, like, you can see, like, the seven squiggle on the back or whatever. And then I wore my flip-flops today because I knew I was getting tattooed, and I will show it to you in a little bit. I have to clean it, though, and I still have to buy stuff to clean it with. Oh, and then I forgot, this is a 36 inch Lisa Tabas silver chain, and then these are my David Smallcomb bracelets, um, yellow gold mixed with white, or mixed with silver, then um, my Chanel watch, and then my Brazilian bracelet that will supposedly fall off in anywhere from two weeks to two years, so we'll see how long Lorraine Pie wears it. Um, and then no earrings, so. Okay, get away Clyde, you're going to ruin it. Okay, this is what it looks like. All is pretty on the back, just nice. And then when I wear heels, it'll look lovely. 